Hi, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to install Mahalt. In my previous video, I've shown you how to install Spark. Uh, however, I forgot to show you, check if, I mean, immediately after I installed Spark, uh, I really would like to see if uh, a particular file is there or not in my computer. CD, Spark, this is just, you know, continuation to the, continuation to my previous video. Oh. Okay, and ls cd I think in s bin ls okay, no not s bin let me see uh, cd bin I think I again I, that file is not there here the compute something the same thing same thing happened same here we should have that file even that file is missing in 3 also okay fine okay then uh, so as I said in this video I'm going to show you how to install my I already have my in my computer CD okay my home sorry and here CD uh, CD one just uh, so this is actually the advantage of uh, you know have keeping the extracted folder as it is this is 0 0.11 okay now what i do i am just going to show you a very recent uh, version of the okay um, uh, for, for instance if i uh, you know let me see if i execute this command my heart it will show me what are the different possibilities i mean different ways different functions available different commands available along with this key base command mahout just like you know in hadoop we use hadoop uh, for uh, you know different other commands like to work with hdfs to work with uh, so here these are different possibilities of uh, and we have all the algorithms list of options available to work with uh, canopy is a is a class available for us to work with canopy clustering and then there is cat only to see uh, you know the ingredients of a file or something like that uh, there is a I think you should be having a, yeah k means clustering there is k means class or method I don't know and then uh, th there are uh, different uh, yes yeah, so sequence to encode it sequence to sparse these are sequence directories these are all required uh, during the time of uh, uh, training the data for a particular using a particular algorithm for classification or uh, clustering and all there must be logistic regression kind of there must be a method for logistic regression I am just looking for regressions reg uh, no not this one yeah run logistic this is for logistic regression and uh, many things okay so train logistic and all these are these comments are used test a forest the random forest classifier svd is for singular value decomposition so oh, there are so many algorithms right so these are all available i think there must be something called uh, recommend factorized not this one and there should be a unique command called uh, it's not a command actually it is a class um, there are many things recommend item based is there anything called recommend item based yeah yeah this one so i'm just going to give a small demonstration as how to work with uh, uh, how to create a recommender system in my subsequent video this is actually what i'm searching for okay now uh, let me show you how to get the same thing the workflow is the same same kind of uh, I just go to the parent directory or back back go to downloads dot apache dot uh, then open this finder in your browser this time go for my help so this is the folder and here I will go for 14 is now I think I'll go for 13 my help 13 I have 0 0.11 in my computer this time I'll try for here when you are downloading you should be very careful you need to you need to download the binaries not the sources because i'm 
explaining us how to install mahout using binaries not the sources so here the file is apache dash mahout dash distribution 0 0.13.0 0 something like that now what i do i'll just uh, copy link location because i am in a different user you see here hd user i'm not in if i download it will go to the other user that is the main user okay now w i don't i should not have yeah, i have apache may have distribution 0 0.11 i'll just first uh, get rid of this okay apache and now let me open ls yeah w get and then control shift v i can just paste that with the help of that shortcut uh, combination of now it should be it is just going to take some you know two centuries of time at least so i'll come back after i'll pass my video and come back after okay my download is over now i think i should be having that yeah apache may have it, uh, uh, now I just have to xvcf apache I'm uh, extracting the compressed mahout archive I mean mahout archives and after this I just have to create a mahout a home directory for mahout which means I just uh, move these files into a particular location in my computer and that location will act as home directory now apache this is actually the folder created from this action now sudo mv apache help then go to take this to usr local now cd us uh, local i got that apache right apache 0 0.3. now what i need to do is i already have a symbolic symlink for symlink to the earlier version i unlink this my help okay now i allow a so now that, that disappear right now sudo ln s create a same thing uh, apache uh, it is not actually it should be one three right one three and then my out yes ll a see we got that so now it is unlinked with the earlier earlier may have where is my health earlier okay somewhere wherever it is doesn't matter see here here it is right okay now i'm uh, so here my directory is i am inside um, so my path is here us so and local so here inside here my house this is actually the home directory for my house now what the image so after this is step number two for step number one is downloading step number two extracting it to a particular directory and step number three is creating environment variables now where sudo g edit okay and dot dash rc i already did this that is actually the advantage of uh, having the links so i can just uh, keep uh, changing the versions without you know changing my dot bash rc file you see here i have the mahout home is uh, spotting to the path used by mahout mahout home is user local mahout okay and then immediately these two lines need to be created immediately after creating the home directory and that's it so after that you just have to make a source dot bash rc then any changes that we that I do inside the file will be updated in the OS environment now what we need to do is uh, yes we have to start uh, you know the mahout. we don't <laughs> start mahout actually so we'll just uh, at this point in time if I use mahout 
command it should come automatically when I press the tab button because I created the environment that is the advantage of creating the environment when I press my out it should be able to you see the version which is getting used for my work is 0 0.13.0 unlike the one which uh, I used I mean earlier it was 0 0.11.0 something like that now it will get me the same information which uh, I've shown you uh, in the starting of this uh, video it takes time because my virtual machine is not uh, a good virtual machine so if you get this response in this way these are all the actually the classes available for us to work with uh, data sets so in this th this is actually for this video uh, so installing my house in uh, Ubuntu operating system is very simple you just we just have to you, you just have to download the binaries and extract them to a particular location and then update that path in the bash or C file so that is all about installing my house in my next video I shall show you how to analyze kind of data sets okay so this is this for video thanks for watching the, my videos and stay tuned for the new content uh, please subscribe to my video channel thank you